We're tackling a huge garden makeover at a special aged care dementia home. And despite the rain, we're making big progress. Finally, we can lift the new soil in and Graham can start talking plants. Thanks, Hayden. <laughs> the weather is really smashing us today, but we're pushing on because we know that gardens have a very special therapeutic, healing and, of course, calming qualities for us all, but especially important for the elderly and those with dementia. And getting the plants right is really critical. And now the weather's cleared, Kenny's finally able to get onto painting the back fence. And by the sounds of it, the carers and nurses approve. I love the colour. <laughs> now, Joe and Jace have done a fantastic job with the rest of the team getting rid of the old hedge, the marae, they've all gone. And of course, they're pretty much beyond their use by date. Now, look, this was Lamandra, very popular. See them in roadside plantings. In a home garden like this, they're really not very suitable. They're twiggy, they're sticky, and on the sides, the leaves are really sharp. But I'm replacing these old lamandras with some new varieties. This little fellow here is called Tanika. Isn't it a beautiful thing? Emerald green foliage, lovely and soft, nothing sharp about it. It's just a beautiful little plant. There's also a lime green one called Lime Jet. I love that because it's really bright and cheery. And this little fellow here is a variegated Calamagrostis. I just love its foliage. Now, they look like little bamboos, but they're not. Easy maintenance, easy to look after. We're going to plant them right through the garden. Meantime, the team has started to get the posts in for the garden's new pergola, while our concreter Colin gets to work forming up the new path and slab. You know, it's fair to say that people with dementia have lost quite a bit of their active and physical skills. That's understandable, but it doesn't mean that they should become disconnected with the world around them. Exactly the opposite. Now, to that end, we're going to build some garden beds here. OK, lads, bring her in. So that they'll have all those beautiful flowers and the, and the herbs and the mints and all those things they can engage with. Well, another three layers to go. It's just a simple construction, using treaded pine sleepers with overlapping joints on the corners, held together with bugle screws. Well, we're nearing the halfway point in our makeover, and I'm keen to find out what the staff thinks it will mean for the residents. We've got to hold up just in case we, oh, we don't want to fight too fast. Oh, I can't stop all of them. <laughs> So, Jess, your assistant manager here, you're also a registered nurse. I mean, you, probably better than anyone else, understands what a garden like this can do for people who are living with dementia. I think that is about our awareness of what this disease looks like. It's something they're living with, it's not what they're all about. OK, our garden bed's raised up nice and high, looking ready to plant. You know, research is showing us that as we get older, we tend to lose a bit of hearing and a bit of sight, but there is one sense that remains with us, that wonderful sense of smell. And that's why with our plants, we're following what the experts are telling us, that people with dementia enjoy being reconnected with their past. 